This is Deus Ex VFX, and I'm going to teach you how to make a Cuban link in Blender 3D. They call me, they call me. Just a heads up before we get started, watch this video at least once before attempting. I made some mistakes and then soon after I fixed them, but I just don't want anyone who's following along with the tutorial to make mistakes and then just end up fixing them because that's what I did. I specify which parts I made mistakes on and how to avoid that, so just watch once for clarity. Thanks. So before we get started, I just want to say thank you for getting me to 100 subscribers. Pretty epic. Feeling despacito. Cheers to 100 and hopefully many, many more. Or, I, I mean, not that I care. I mean, more, I'd like more, but like, you know, I'd... Fuck it. Okay, let's go. So I actually made this a while ago. And so I just have this here for reference. To, uh, yeah, so just to get started, we're just gonna hold shift and then A, which is to add something, and then we're just gonna add a plane. And then we're gonna lower that plane just so we can use that as our object that we're going to mirror everything else from. And now we're gonna add a torus. So shift A, mesh, torus. And I'm gonna click S and size it down. And I'm gonna get out of cycles. All right, so first I'm gonna you know size it down again, S fine and now I'm going to go to modifiers and I'm gonna add a solidify modifier and I'm doing this because I want it to be thicker I just want a certain level of thickness for it not too thick just like something like that's good All right. now I'm gonna apply it and while the torus is selected I'm gonna click tab which goes into edit mode or you can just go up here edit mode tab is just quicker and select A or just click A which is going to select every single face and then right click go to separate by loose parts get out of edit mode and select there's yeah there we go there's going to be one on the inside because after I separated it that like separated the solidify modifier basically so I'm just going to delete that and I only want the outside one Ooh. So now we're going to create the shape of the Cuban link. So it um, it doesn't just go down. I also like elevate this part too. So I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So let's go into sculpt mode. So I'm going to mirror on the Y axis and the X axis actually. Yeah, I'm going to do both. And I'm going to use the grab tool and I'm just going to use that to lower. There we go. Just trying to kind of create a U shape so that the piece can uh, link. And now I'm going to raise this side. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more just so I can get a bigger grab. I mean, same thing, I could change the radius or I could just zoom out and raise that up a bit. And now I'm gonna make sure it's even, like flat. That looks good. Cool. Um, I might fix this later, uh, looking a little bit too flat. I might, you know, raise this part up a little bit, but actually it's looking pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to split the faces in half. So I'm going to go top view, x-ray, make sure face select is on using the green line as a point of reference. That's how we know the, what the center is. I'm just going to get rid of the right side, x, faces, x is delete. And now, I'm gonna go to mirror. It's already perfectly in the center, I'm just gonna click that anyways. And now, I'm gonna go back into edit mode, and so this side, and kind of like, you know, this line, or this line of faces, it's already flat, and so we want the sides to be, you know, flat too. We want it to be uh, flush. So, I'm gonna go, yeah, here all the way to here. Just as it's about to start going down and taper off, that's where I'm gonna stop. So just like I'm gonna choose these edges and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And since it's mirrored, I don't have to worry about this side. It's gonna do it anyways. And I'm just gonna raise these up. And I can see that it's kind of on a slant. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to do face select. I'm going to select this corner. I'm going to hold control shift and then select the opposite corner. And it's going to yeah do that for me. And then I'm going to rotate. And then I'm going to use this white line. So I'm going to like try and get a good view 
like that. That's like decent. And then I'm gonna use this to rotate. Let me go on uh, side view so I can perfectly see. There. And because I was on the side view, I can kind of see it's not perfectly flat. Actually, it, it, honestly, that's looking fine. I don't really have enough faces for right now in order to properly fill out the link. So I'm going to add some more. So by doing that, I'm going to bring up this vertex. Every video I do that. I'm going to bring up that vertex and just so I can add more faces to what I'm going to be filling with gems. cuts one two three four and oh I'm a liar I'm gonna add uh, two more one two and now I'm gonna select the inside faces not the ones on the edge so none of the edge faces now I'm gonna hold alt and then click E and extrude faces along normals and now I can go up down and I want to go down so something like something like that. Let me get a look. That looks good. All right. So now I have this already. If you uh, go to Shift A and go to Mesh, you can see here I have diamonds. So to get that, you go to Edit, you go to Preferences, you go to Add-ons. So then go to Search and go extra but you only need the add mesh extra objects so now I'm gonna hold shift right click that's how you uh, add the cursor to a, an area shift a mesh diamonds and I'm gonna use the gem because it's a little irregular in the faces and it's a little bit it's a little rougher looking and it makes the light refract better so click S to scale down That size is good. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's at a good height. That's nice, okay. And I'm going to lock the Z axis just so we can look at it from any angle and not have to worry about it going up and down. Like I can just do this. Um, I'm gonna scale it up a little bit just so I can fill it with three gems across rather than having to fill it with a lot more than that. And before I do anything else, uh, actually I'm gonna switch to this. I'm gonna give it a material so every time we duplicate it, every duplicated gem will have the same material. I'm just gonna give it a quick one. There. Alright. Now, time to duplicate it. I'm gonna scale these down a tiny bit. And now I'm just gonna kind of do this part quickly. I'm just gonna shift and then click all three and then shift D. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of fix all the spacing on this. I'm also gonna add some smaller gems in between just to fill the cracks. There, something like that's perfect. So I'm gonna select all the gems. Just go from gem one and then scroll down. Shift, click, join. Now, I'm gonna select the gems. Modifier, mirror. And I'm gonna apply the mirror. I'm also gonna apply the mirror here as well. And I'm going to add a bevel to this. There. 
that's looking nice. I'm gonna give this material just something quick. Raise metallic. Give it like a yellowish. There, now it's gold. Now I'm gonna combine these two. And just in case you want to separate them later, um, you just select on it, go to the edit mode or click tab, and then select A, which is select all, and then separate by material. That way it keeps all the gems still as one object and the gold link as a separated part. Now I'm gonna rejoin them. And I'm gonna go up here to object snap and then cursor to world origin and actually I'm gonna hide this I don't need to see this right now hold shift a and we're gonna add a curve ignore all these except for path there. and I'm gonna bring our link to the very end of the path just have our middle line up with the the end and actually, before we continue, I'm just going to go into sculpt mode. This is, uh, it's too skinny on the side here, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to use the grab tool. Before rotating, make sure the link looks right. I ended up making further adjustments after rotating because I was too lazy to just rotate it back to normal. And because of that, I couldn't use the symmetry options and I had to eye it. So just don't be like me and make sure it looks right before you do this next step. I ended up smoothing it more and making it more bulbous and less sharp. Okay, back to video. And now I'm going to rotate it. Alright, so after I just tweaked it further, um, just make sure you click on it, control A, and then go up here, origin, set origin to geometry. You just want to make sure that you do that because the array modifier won't work properly if you don't. And actually before I do anything more, I'm going to shrink this down. I gotta lower it, so I'm gonna take the lock off. Alright, there we go. Now I'm gonna add the array modifier. And fit curve. Select the curve. Yeah, I forgot to apply transformation, so if you do that, then it'll go across the entire curve. Make sure you do that. I'm gonna set origin to geometry again as well. And now I'm going to add another modifier, curve. And I'm just going to make sure that it's lying along it properly. So I'm going to make sure that both ends are at the end of the curve. There it is. All right. And now let's see if it worked. I'm going to select the curve and I'm going to click tab, which goes into edit mode. And I'm going to try moving it. There we go. And now you can put it into the shape of a necklace. You can give yourself a round of applause because you just made ice and blender. It's a pretty big accomplishment. See, now it doesn't matter if you don't have enough money to afford real ice because you can just make it. That, that, that right there, that's a real flex. And let's see what it looks like in cycles. Ooh. One thing I am gonna fix, so I already have a diamond material made and this is not it, this is just what I made in two seconds. So let's go back here. So I'm just gonna select that. There we go. And now I'll show you what that material is made of. There, you can just screenshot that. Give you a second to do that. All right, that's enough time. So yeah, that's how you make a Cuban link in Blender 3D. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, I'll answer them in the comments below. If you wanna be a real one, 
yeah, I know you want to be a real one. You got to <laughs> follow me on Instagram, uh, Conrad underscore hog. It's my real name. Yeah, my last name is hog. Shut up. And that's where I post all my renders there. Go give it a like. And I, uh, I hope you enjoyed making ice with me today. I hope you enjoyed making that good drip, that drippy drip. Splash. And if you enjoyed making ice like the Arctic, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, and if you enjoyed my tutorial on how to make that Arctic fresh ice drippy drip, um, just make sure to subscribe. Or actually after saying that, you're probably gonna unsubscribe. So um, make sure to subscribe uh, for more ice and more drip. Drip. I'm a fossil fellow, I got drip. I should know your bitch is a Pokemon trainer shit. Who's this? You should be in cockpit. Cause I'm flying in a fucking ostrich. Okay. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more drip. And make sure to hit that like button if you're pushing penis. I should probably stop before I say something really dumb. All right, bye. All right, so like, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're looking at this guy and you're like, Conrad, how am I ever gonna be able to live up to this? Like, there's just way too much drip on him. And while I do hear your concerns, um, yeah, actually, and honestly, I'm gonna have to break it to you. There's, there's just no possible way that you could ever live up to this. This is like, we've truly peaked as a society you might not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. And if you uh, zoom in closer, you can see uh, the Soupy shirt. And um, yes, it's designer. I, uh, I designed it myself, Soupy. Um, and while this is something that, you know, no one will ever be able to live up to, it's also a goal because, because it's not the destination, it's the journey. It, it, everyone needs an idol, you know, someone to live up to. And this is who I look up to. As humans evolved, we grew past the need for hair um, just because you look way more baller ass without it. I should probably stop before I say something really dumb. So that was a fucking lie.